It's a joy to have this opportunity again to share just a few minutes with you here on this Thursday. Today, I'd like to go back to the Old Testament. Malachi, which is the last book written of the Old Testament, that Old Testament dispensation is a very, very key book for it shows how Israel had declined again. And God is going to go silent on Israel for 400 years before John the Baptist comes on the scene. And the angels proclaim that birth. And it's a, it's a stirring time when you think about it. But God was so gracious in the minor prophets to give a warning to Israel. And throughout Malachi, we see the questioning of God's dealing. Let me just say, if you want to be encouraged in your life, don't question what God is doing. Don't question his word. Don't question his hand in your life. Don't question how God is leading. Because when you do, when you question his conviction, you're going to miss the opportunity to really see God work. A number of times, in fact, you can divide out Malachi by the hath God said type of uh, interchanges there. Uh, with uh, Israel and the Lord. And in verse 7, uh, the Lord says, Ye offer polluted bread, this is chapter 1, upon mine altar, and ye say, Wherein have we polluted thee? In that ye say, The table of the Lord is contemptible. So they're questioning, How have we polluted the sacrifice? And he goes on to say, You have offered uh, sacrifices that are not. According to Scripture, you've given the blind, you've given... Uh, the lame and the sick, you'd never give that to your governor. How can you give that to your God? They weren't making a sacrifice. They gave that which they were glad to give up. You know, it's easy when there's a big drive for clothes or for toys for people that are needy. It's easy to give the old stuff. But to give the newest and the best, that's a whole different ball game. And in a far greater way, in this New Testament dispensation, We've got to ask ourselves, have we truly sacrificed the deepest and the best part of our life? Or are we giving him the leftover? The leftover time, the less leftover money, the leftover effort? Are we tacking God's work onto our own schedule? Are we giving the strength of our life to our own pursuits, to the things that mean something to us, or have we sacrificed the depth of our life to accomplish the will of God? We are a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service, Romans 12, 1. It's a good question. It's one that we have to ask ourselves. And I'll tell you, there's no encouragement when we give God the second best. Oh, I'm telling you, there's a thrill when we give God the best. Now, it hurts. It's hard. Our flesh doesn't like it. But when we get the, give the best of our time, the best of our efforts, uh, the best of uh, our material possessions, when we're willing to do exactly what God calls us to do, at the moment there's pain, but a few moments later there is such joy because you're trusting the Lord and he begins to bless and he will encourage. In fact, the Holy Spirit is the comforter, the one that comes alongside to encourage us. And so let's realize it. Israel suffered. Oh, did they suffer and did not uh, have blessing for all of those years because they questioned God and they didn't, didn't give him their best. May God give us a heart to give the best unto our Savior.